guys, this is Leslie from Leslie Loves Veggies, back so soon. I did a video yesterday, but I figured I would do another video today. This is a request from my friend Piper from Pippi's Palace. She asked me if I, I would do a review for Demeter Fragrance Library perfumes. Now, you have to understand, I think Piper really does like perfume, but because she has sensitivities and allergies, she can't wear it. Um, even if she smells it, you're around her, she gets a very, very bad headache, so much so that she becomes nauseous. So you, I can't wear perfume when I'm around her, but she likes to hear about perfume. So she asked me if I would do this review. It's kind of a haul and a review. I got these perfumes the other day, um, but I didn't want to just unbox them. I wanted to try them and tell you how they smell. I love perfume. I'm very familiar with Demeter perfume. I've had a couple of their other fragrances, and I love them. They're very, very light. They have some wacky perfumes like glue, waffle, dirt, tomato. They also have some very, very beautiful floralies, greens, woodsies. Go on their website. I will link their information down below. They're having a 20% off sale, I think, until the middle of January. I mean, the middle of July. I'm not getting paid for this. This is not a sponsored post. I wish it was. I wish Demeter would send me every perfume in their collection. I'm sure there would be some that I wouldn't like, but they're amazing. So let me just show you what I got. They have a lot of different sizes you can pick from. They have um, big bottles. They have smaller bottles. They have little ones that you can sample that are on like a little keychain. So if you don't like them, I mean, you're, only, you're not out that much money. And I think right now they're also having a promotion where if you spend $25 or $30, you get a free peach perfume. Now, I've tried their perfumes that are in like a little tiny cologne splash. They smell amazing, but I wind up wasting it because I wind up just pouring it on myself. So that's what I don't like about that particular um, variety. You know, I like a spray bottle or a roll-on. But I also notice that when I wear a roll-on and I put lotion on before, the I kind of contaminate it. So I'm kind of sticking to sprays these days. So let me show you. This is what I got. And I'm going to go through them one by one so you can see what they are, and I'm going to try to describe them as best I can. And many of them evoke memories for me, which is what I love about perfume. When I smell something, it reminds me of days gone by. So I'm going to tell you about each one. Let's start with the peach. This is the peach. This does not smell like a cut peach. No. It smells like, have you ever gone peach picking or have a basket of peaches on your counter? It smells like the outside of peaches. That sweet fruity, soft deliciousness. I can almost I feel the fuzz. It's not overly sweet. It does not last a long, long time. I like to spritz this on before I go to bed at night. It just smells so beautiful. I wouldn't have picked it out for myself. I got it for free. But now that I've tried it, I would definitely repurchase it. Let me go on to my favorite Demeter perfume of all time. It's called Salt Air. This reminds me of Jones Beach. It reminds me of suntan lotion, which I'm going to get to in a minute because I also have one called suntan lotion. And I got this one because I love that clean smell of suntan lotion. The sun, let, me, let me go to this one first. This one smells like suntan lotion. Mixed with the beach, mixed with salt air, mixed with summer in the backyard, it just smells... Ugh, I could wear this every day for the rest of my life. My daughter Jessica does not like suntan lotion. She does not like this. If you don't like suntan lotion, it's not for you. It's clean. It's beautiful. Uh, it's white t-shirts and the beach. If you like that, you will love this. The next one is suntan lotion. I'm not disappointed in this, but I got this because I thought, oh, it's going to smell like suntan lotion. That's a fragrance that I like. I spritzed it on. No, it doesn't smell like suntan lotion. It took me a while to realize what it smells like. It smells like orange blossom. I remember when I was a little girl, because I told you these perfumes like stir up memories from when you're a little. I, um, my dad and my mom took me and my sister to Florida to visit my niece. And we had stopped at some kind of a shop and they had orange blossom perfume. Of course, I wasn't allowed to get it, but I remember spritzing it on myself and loving that fragrance, loving that scent. This reminds me of orange blossom perfume. It reminds me of Florida. It reminds me of the summer. And here's the great thing about Demeter perfumes. You can wear one or you can layer them. So when you mix these two together, 
Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I like to do that. The next one that I got is grass. This sprays on like grass, smells like a wet grass, smells like fresh mowed grass. And then it dries and it's a little bit more subtle and a little bit, not florally, but it smells more subdued. This reminds me of when my dad used to cut the grass on a Friday afternoon. I would come home from, and I remember we were at, we were at tap dancing and I would come home and I would smell it. And that's the first time I ever remember smelling grass and thinking, oh my gosh, that smells so good. That's what this reminds me of. Fresh cut grass, but as it dries, it smells less grassy and just soft and subdued like a green fragrance. The next one, I didn't think I was going to like that this one this much. It's called Wet Garden. This is not what I expected, but I do love it. It smells like, it smell, It starts out and it smells exactly like carnations. It smells, it reminds me of when I went to my prom and I had a carnation corsage and I, that's what it reminds me of. It dries and it smells a little bit green. It smells florally, but the carnation to me is still the dominant fragrance. I like to mix, um, I like to mix my grass with my wet garden and it smells so pretty. This fragrance hubby does not like, and I'm wearing it today because guess what? I like it. I will not wear anything with rose because my husband does not like rose perfume and I don't want to like, totally offend his senses. He doesn't love this one as much as he likes the other ones. He said, I can tolerate it, but I don't love it. This is called Pure Soap. I'm wearing it today. I'm going to tell you exactly what it, what it smells like. It smells like an old-fashioned bar of ivory soap. Not coast, not dial, not caress. This right here is straight up ivory soap. It reminds me, I told you these remind me of different times in my life. When I was a little girl, I have a niece who is five years younger than I am. Her name is Lori Ann. Lori Ann was about, maybe she, she was a baby. She was under one year old and I was still five years old. And I remember my, my sister-in-law, Lenore, putting her in the bathtub. And I, I had never seen ivory soap before because my mom didn't buy ivory soap. My mom used to buy, um, what's the one that's like a hair? Dove. My mom used to buy Dove. And I remember my, my, sister-in-law bathing my niece Lori with that big, big, white, chunky bar, which floated. And I remember that scent, and I've loved it ever since. This is, smells exactly like ivory soap. It is so clean and so pure and so beautiful. The last fragrance I got was Provence Meadow. This is gorgeous. It has a little bit of a lavender scent. It has some florals in it, but the predominant note is lavender. Now, let, two years ago for Christmas, my husband had purchased me, purchased for me on Demeter because he knows I love their perfume. He had gotten me perfumes that I would never have picked for myself, but I love them. He got me one called Lavender Martini, and I thought to myself, why did you buy that for me? I'm not going to like it. I loved it. This has a similar fragrance with an added floral note to it. Now, the Lavender Martini didn't smell like alcohol. It just smelled very clean and very... Um, it was almost very a peaceful, a very peaceful scent. He also got me one called Gin and Tonic, which I thought to myself, why on earth would I want to smell like a Gin and Tonic? However, it was clean. It was, it just smelled clean and beautiful, and I loved it. He also got me one called Snow, which smelled, I, don't, I can't describe how snow smells, but it smelled like snow, and it even had like a little bit I don't want to say dirty, but it had like a little bit of an earthy smell. That's what it is, a little bit of an earthy scent to it. I used every drop. The only perfume that I have ever used from Demeter that I was I wouldn't repurchase, I told my hubby that I wanted um, the salt air. That was That's my favorite. He didn't get me salt air, he got me ocean. Now, I liked ocean. It was okay. It smelled very clean. I cannot, the only way I can describe it is blue. It smelled like a blue smell to me. It smelled like sailing. It smelled like, it didn't smell like the beach. It smelled clean, like a clean, fresh day, but it didn't remind me of the beach. And maybe that's why I wouldn't repurchase. Maybe I was just that disappointed. Anyway, Demeter has so many perfumes from apple blossom to, to, I think they have one called Earthworm. They have glue. They have every fragrance. I think they might even have one called Pizza. I don't know, but the foods, that's my hubby coming in the back door. 
I don't know that I would go for the food smells, but you can layer them. And they say like, you, if you layer waffles and ice cream and then like a blueberry, you have like blueberry ice cream waffles or something. That's nice, right? So I'm going to link Demeter's site down below. Demeter, if you're watching this, feel free to send me your entire library fragrance collection because I would do a review. That's how much I love your perfume. These are not high-end, um, you know, flower bomb or Dior fragrance or whatever, Chanel fragrance. And I love Chanel number no. five. Oh, do I love it. These are wearable every day. They don't last hours and hours. They last a couple hours and you can re-spritz. But because they're not that expensive, feel free. And buy them when they're on sale. Why not? And then on sale, plus a big, huge bottle of peach, go for it. If you like perfume, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Guys, it's going to be 4th of July tomorrow. Have a happy and safe 4th of July. No drinking and driving. Please, you know, if you want to have a, a glass of wine, have it at home. Please don't drink and drive. And if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Not a thumbs down. I don't know who that was. It's not cool. Not cute. Leave me a comment. I love comments. I love comments. I try to answer every single one. And if you like my videos, why do you, would you want to miss one? Subscribe. I mean, please subscribe. I love my subscribers. I like YouTube. I, I, I really like doing YouTube. I kind of got away from it for a little while because Maddie screams like a banshee. And I know that if I watched something like that, it would annoy me. And I just don't, I, I, I love her to death, but I don't want to not inflict her, but I don't want that to be the focus of, of a video, her screaming. So guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.